All right, everyone, back in the 510 streets here at Ocean's 11. First hand, I look down at King Jack 1010, single suited in middle position. Player to my right makes it 40. I call, and there are three other callers, so we're going five ways to a flop. Well, comes 852 with two clubs. Checks over to me, and I decide to bet 100, just kind of see where I'm at. One of the blinds calls, and the original razor to my right calls, so we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a jack of hearts, bringing the backdoor flush draw. Both my opponents check to me, and here I only have less than a pot size bet left, and both my opponents should definitely be weighted more towards draws as opposed to actual made hands. So I just decide to go with it and push, and over to the small blind who thinks a little bit and folds, and the original razor tanks a little bit as well, and he also folds. So we get one through here and uh, off to a decent start. Here look down at ace king nine seven single suited in the big blind there are three limpers over to the small blind who calls and i check my options so we're going five ways to a flop well comes ace nine three rainbow checks to me i bet 35 and there's one caller so we're going heads up to a turn turn brings a deuce does bring in five four but shouldn't really change anything i bet 60 and my opponent quickly calls so we're still going heads up to a river River brings a king, so giving us a better two pair now. And it's not typically easy to get three streets of value with top two pair. So I decided to check with the attention of calling any bet. And my opponent thinks a little bit, but checks back. So I turn over my hand and we're good. We look down at 10, 10, 9, 9, single suited in the hijack. There's an early position raised to 40. I call and there are three other callers. So we're going five ways to a flop. Well comes queen 4, 2 with two spades. The original razor bets 125 and I fold. Just a reminder, this game actually allows unlimited straddles. In this hand, the double straddle is on, so we're playing 5, 10, 20, 40. I look down at ace, ace, 10, 2, double suited from the small blind. Folds to me, I make it 160, and both my opponents fold, so we take it down. Here, the double straddle is on again. I look down at ace, king, king, queen, single suited under the gun. I limp, there's another middle position limper, over to the button who makes it 150. Small blind makes the call. Big blind folds over to the straddler who also calls over to me. So the limp under the gun re-raise move is typically something I only do with aces. Um, don't have that here obviously, but you know, having the next best thing, I just decide to go with it and re-raise to 810. Folds over to the button who doesn't look too happy about it, but he just kind of has a look of, you know, there's too much money in the pot. So I just have to go with it. And he re-pushes over to the small blind who calls for less. The straddler looks like he wants to call, but he painfully folds, and I call for my remaining chip. So we're going three ways, all in to a run out. Flop comes ace, eight, four, rainbow. Turn brings a king of spades, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. River brings pretty bad card and the queen of clubs, obviously now bringing in jack 10. And I turn over my hand against the button who I'm on the side pot with, and he doesn't look too happy and mucks his hand. And the small blind is trying to look for something that beats me, but he ends up mucking as well. The button ended up telling me later on that he had 10, 8, 7, 6 double suited. And I'm not really sure what the small blind had, but definitely happy to take down a pretty nice pot here. Here I look down at ace, king, queen, three, double suited in middle position. Early position player limps. I make it 40, both the big blind and the limper call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen 10 9 with two spades. Checks to the limper to my right who bets 80. I fold and the big blind folds as well. So limper's going to take it down. Here look down at ace queen jack 9 double suited under the gun. I open to 40 and bolt the button and the big blind call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen 10 10 rainbow. Big blind checks to me. I check over to the button who bets 40. Big blind calls and I don't really love the two 10s on the board, but for that price, you know, with the uh, open ended straight draw, I decide to call as well. So still three ways to a turn. Turn brings an ace now improving us to top two pair. Big blind leads 125 over to me. And here, don't really love the situation. Um, you know, it's pretty likely at least one of my opponents has a 10. Obviously now King Jack got there as well. So I fold over to the button who makes it 500, back to the big blind who quickly makes the call. So they end up going heads up to a river. So they go heads up to a river, which brings a five. Big blind checked over to the button who bet a thousand. The big blind went into the tank for about two minutes and eventually ended up folding his hand face up and he showed King Jack 10, eight. So he flopped trips, turned the straight and decided to lay it down. Here look down at ace, king, jack, five, double suited in the small blind in a straddled pot. Middle position player makes it 80, folds to me, I make the call, and the straddler calls. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, five, four with two clubs, checks over to the straddler who down bets to 70, over to the original razor who calls. 
back over to me. I can definitely see some people making the justification to call here, um, but you know, I am out of position, plus two clubs on board definitely weakens my chances here, so I decide to fold. As I'm kind of getting used to the 510 streets here, just trying to play shorter sessions to ease my way into it. After the Ace King Jack 5 double suited hand ended up racking up, played for a little bit over three hours. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 600, out for 2460. So a profit of 1860. If you haven't already done so, check out my previous video. I'll link it up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.